How do we solve quadratic inequalities? So we've got our quadratic inequality, x squared plus x minus 2 is greater than 0. This is written in standard form, so first thing we want to do is factor this trinomial. We know this factors to x plus 2 times x minus 1 is greater than 0. And we want to find our roots, and we can do that by using our zero factor property and figuring out where each of these expressions are equal to 0. So I'm going to set x plus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 1 equal to 0. And solving those will give me my values of x equals negative 2 and x equals positive 1. Now I want to graph these roots on the number line. Now I want to plot my roots on a number line. I use an open circle since it's just greater than, not greater than or equal to. We have three intervals now, values less than negative 2. I use greater than negative 2 and less than 1, and values greater than 1. We want to pick values in each interval and test them in our factored inequality and figure out if they pr produce a true solution set. So less than negative 2, I can check negative 3. Between negative 2 and 1, I can check 0. Greater than 1, I can check 2. So if we start with negative 3, we're going to get negative 3 plus 2 times negative 3 minus 1 is greater than 0. When we simplify this, we're going to get a true statement. So I'm going to write true above this interval. Next, I'm going to check 0. We get 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 1. We get a positive times a negative, which is a negative. And this statement is going to be false because the negative is not greater than 0. So we're going to write false above this interval. Last, let's check that 2. We're going to get 2 plus 2 times 2 minus 1 is greater than 0. This, again, is a true statement. So we're going to write true above our interval here. Wherever we have true, that's where we're going to shade in our graph. That's the solution on our graph. We'll write our solution in interval notation. We want the values from negative infinity to negative 2, not including negative 2. So we're going to use parentheses. Then from 1 to positive infinity, again, not including 1. So we're going to use parentheses. Since our values can either be less than negative 2 or greater than 1, we're going to use a union in our interval notation here.